We're on the same page, right? If she asks about your backstory, you don't answer. I know. And the reason is... To preserve the mystique. And if she pesters you about why I'm the one doing most of the talking, it's because... Ask Man Landers is a man of mystery. And if she... Amy, Amy, it's gonna be okay. It's just one meet and greet, and you'll never have to worry about this again. <laughs> All right, so take a deep breath. Let it out. Let's go do this. Danvers? Uh-huh, and you must be a uh, team, Ask Man Landers. Come in. Thank you for meeting me in my hotel room. I had some business to take care of in Toronto, so um, I was in the neighborhood, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> That's fine. We'd much prefer to meet in our neck of the woods instead of the hustle of Manhattan. Well, uh, you, you must be the voice behind Ask Man Landers, and you are? Amy Driscoll his manager. Oh, oh, so you're the genius who swooped him up before the publishing world could get their hands on him, huh? <laughs> Very shrewd. I don't say this often, but I am such a fan. You know, advice columns are a balancing act, especially ones geared towards men. You have to get the right proportions of sensitive to macho. And I have to tell you that you are quite impressive for a newcomer. So how did you get started? Well, I, uh... Believe it or not, as well as he writes, he's a little shy in person. But I can tell you that he wrote for both his high school and college newspapers. And after a few years out of college, he... And Amy, Amy, I get it. A good manager wants to control the messaging for her client. But this isn't a book tour. This is a casual conversation. And I would like to hear Ask Man Landers speak for himself, okay? So why don't we sit down? Oh, it's okay. You might consider yourself an outsider, but I have high hopes for big sales for your book because your writing speaks to the everyman demographic that we have been trying to nail down for years. It's direct, it's even blunt at times, but yet again, it's witty, it's insightful and relatable with just enough flair, you know, to hold the reader's attention. Oh, I especially loved the answer that you gave um, Nervous in Nashville mm -hmm. about moving in with his girlfriend. Um, how did you phrase that part again? Oh, he really doesn't like to quote yeah. himself. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I believe my response was something like, sometimes being unsure about a relationship gets conflated with being unsure about the future. And since no one can predict the future, that's what makes it exciting. <laughs> So sorry, this is the office. I have to take this. Excuse me. Well. How did you know? Well, I mean, after I agreed to do this whole Ask Man Landers thing, I figured I'd probably better read up on it. I gotta say, the, uh, the advice is pretty solid. You're a, you're a strong, compelling writer. <laughs> Just wish you didn't have to hide behind an alias so the whole world would know how talented you are. I thought I already explained this, but I'll explain it again. Guys won't take advice from a woman. If this book is gonna go anywhere, everyone has to think that you wrote okay, it. Okay, okay, well besides the whole I'm a cop and it's bad for my image thing, I also don't like the idea of taking credit for somebody else's work. You're not taking credit for my work. You're doing me the favor of a lifetime. <laughs> don't worry, this charade won't go on for much longer. Um, what charade are you referring to? Can I come in? literal charade. We were just talking about the song and dance of business, how even though we're making plans like there is a book deal in place, everything is hypothetical until the deal is closed and the contracts are signed. Mm, well, your ears must be burning because that was the president of my division, and I have just been given the green light to officially sign you for a book deal. For real? I can't believe this is happening. Happy, and once the contracts are finalized, the team is ready to begin to work supporting your book. But first off, your photo shoot. Wait, my what? Well, honey, with a handsome face like yours, you are a gift from the publishing gods. We are going to sell a lot of books with your picture. <laughs> 